make it here. I'm going to this stabilization force. We will cut this way. We are doing. What is the mission and what is the implication on the armed forces of Sierra Leone? I'll throw light on the thing we mean on the perverse, the social media or the media houses say ECOWAS the deployment of Sierra Leone. And the region I'm from, Sierra Leone is a member of the ECOWAS community of West African state, ECOWAS. At the continental level, Sierra Leone is a member of the African Union. At the international level, Sierra Leone is a member of the United Nations, several other international organizations, and we sign up treaty to. And that is why Sierra Leone is a member of the non permanent membership in our 10 of the United Nations Security Council for a period of two years. Some of the treaties that we did frame can get clauses. We don't wait in their own young one, I don't say sometime in 1989, 1990. During the reigns of I think our President Joseph Saidu Mahmoud, they be signed as part of the treaty with Sierra Leone, we signed with ECOWAS. They may agree to say Sierra Leone for be a base for the ECOMOC for Sweden and the form because Sierra Leone is a member state of ECOWAS. And the treaty will make provision for that, that every member state for making space available should ECOWAS one use in base for launch any further operation for restore peace and stability in the Soviet Union. So eventually, that is how Sierra Leone serve as a base for ECOWAS. The ECOWAS statement will be on the 24th of February. Then come for see how to set the modalities. Because, you know, for the Air Force, it get a lot of, it's a process, especially armed forces. So we come, we discuss, they met the ONS, met the police, met the Ministry of Defense, your counselor, and they'll get this engagement where we go through some check boxes. So we have a stable armed forces, we have a stable police force, we have a stable prison fire, we have a stable national security architecture. We tell them this year, I say, so we have professional security personnel in all the security agencies, and they agree. And they said, okay, they have understood now, but the, the contribution when they get this to help. And then also say, we are so stable that the only need for can do is support. And that's how we could be coming, joining me, do some form of training together, do some form of operations together. But they're not going to take work on a work, we're not going to deploy inside the same office, we're not going to live inside the same barracks, no. Then they get the outside where they don't hear back for the dog, get their own barracks where they will be separate, then get their own office where they separate. We all police security awareness staff, they continue for the professional job as well. Nobody will lose their own job. They are not coming to substitute us, they are coming to complement us, they are coming to assist us. And the first thing we can get for them under the Ministry of Defense, the ONS, and the SLP Authority. Thank you.